Hi, I am Kirsten Beck Yeager, Product Manager at Rhizom Lab, and I'm very happy to show you how Rhizom UV can speed up your workflow. Created and developed in Marseille, Rhizom Lab has risen to be one of the most popular UV mappers on the market. This is not only because we are fast, flat and easy to use, but also because we offer extensive tools for manual, scripted and automated unwraps. And that's just in the standalone. Our SDK offers you the option to do even more. And we take great pride in the fact that people keep telling us they now enjoy their UV mapping. Part of the ease is our workflow. The top bar has the main unwrap tools in it. The right sidebar provides settings for the tools on the left side and includes six auto seam algorithms. And the bottom tools manage the grid and the UDIMs. The first thing I'm going to do is set up my workspace. I'm going to start by setting my map to 4K. This ensures that my margin is set at 600 pixels and my spacing at 32 pixels as Rhizome will automatically scale margins and spacing according to your map size. The next thing I'm going to do is I am going to open the model dialog and I see that I am going to need about 12 UDIM tiles if I'm going to go with UDIMs. I am of course going to minimize that as much as I can, but let's start with six horizontal tiles on a row of two verticals. I'm now going to zoom out and I'm going to let Ryzen do its magic. So I'm going to select mirror and I'm going to distribute all her parts into separate tiles. Then I'm going to put it in new groups. I like working this way because it's much easier to keep an overview over which things are where and you don't have to keep looking or keep selecting where your mesh's assets are. So the first thing I'm going to do, I am just going to do some very basic unwrapping and I'm just going to hit U to unwrap and then I'm going to hit P to pack. And I'm not going to care about texture density quite yet because I usually wait with that until it's time to pack. And I am way, way away <laughs> from, from packing. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to hit Alt X and then I'm going to hit Alt C. And then I'm going to press C to cut. Alt X, make sure that you select an entire loop. Uh, C is of course for cutting. And Alt C transfers one cut to another mesh if the meshes are identical. And these are. So I'm just going to group these and pack these. And as you can see, the pack was maybe a little enthusiastic. So let's try that again. Oh, much better. I'll get back to these when, when it's time to pack properly. Okay. I am going to do the same with uh, the jewels on Mira's outfit as I did with the eyeballs. So actually, let me arrange my, my scene a little bit. So here's Mira. And I'll just press F to center, uh, just as in Painter. So F to center in either the 3D or the 2D viewport. So these are the jewels. And again, I'm just going to do very simple cuts. I could use our new feature topo copy for this, but I'm thinking that's maybe overkill for something so small. So I'm going to hit Alt X again. I'm going to hit C to cut. I'm going to hit U to unwrap. Double clicking inside a group means that you select all the islands. So I'm just going to press P to pack. Done. I also see that this could probably use very standard unwrap. So I'm just going to mouse over, unwrap. I'm going to hit F2 to cut. And I'm just going to put a cut in the middle there. And then I'm going to worry about packing it later. I am now going to use TopoCopy, our new feature, to sort out the eyelashes. So what I'm going to do is I am going to cut one island and then I'm going to unwrap it, as you can see. And now I'm going to select it and I have my 
topo copy set back to its vanilla settings which in general are all you need so i have set my similarity to <coughs> sorry uh, similarity to zero so a low similarity means that it will take in pretty much anything that's similar and then if you set it to a high setting it will take things that are more and more geometrically similar so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm just going to hit update and boom every eyelash has now been unwrapped and has the same cut and the same unwrap as the initial one so you can also of course use it with with more complex meshes and you can also use this in conjunction with other mesh so for instance if i were to change my mind and i had just picked this one and i would also for instance unwrap that island and if i then selected them and then hit update they would all update. So this means that even in a complex workflow, the only thing you need to do is select one mesh of each and then unwrap and maybe use some brush tools on it to get your topology exactly as you want it. And then just select the islands and hit the update button and boom, the rest of your mesh is also updated. Topo copy is very fast becoming a user staple. And if you want to look see how the lashes turned out this is how they ended being packed now another thing that we make easy for our users is how to pack or unwrap hair or fur um, many times you really have nice and curly islands which look super nice but sometimes they can be a pain to unwrap because of that, that curliness so one thing that you can do in rhizome is to use a combination of constraints rectangularize and optimize. So as you can see, I have cheated. I have added a lot of edges to, or edge selections to the, the islands. And the reason for that is that those are going to be our constraints. So if I hit Alt V, I have now set a constraint on those islands. And that constraint is that it wraps on a vertical edge. So I'm now going to go into island mode, F4, and I'm going to hit rectangularize. And as you can see, all the strands are now perfectly rectangular, but you also see that there's a lot of distortion there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit O to optimize. And as you can see, that is getting rid of the distortion. So run it a few more iterations, or I'm just going to hold down the O key. And boom, done. So the only thing I have to do now is to hit P to pack. And I have nice, easy to pack distortion free strands. The last thing I'd like to show you is something called the magic wand, which you can find in F3 polygon mode. And what the magic wand in effect is, is a cookie cutter. What it does based on the sliders here is it cuts out shapes. So if you don't want to try and figure out how to cut your saw, only thing you need to do is select the shape and press C to cut. And it works on more complex shapes as well. So let's say I want to cut this off of the main side of the boot. And I'm going to press numpad to grow my selection. And uh, maybe I'll grow it just one loop more. And of course, I can always get rid of superfluous polys by deselecting them. And here we go. Press C. U to unwrap. And there we go. We have one cookie cut selection. After using the tools and techniques shown, we ended up with this final UV map. All in all, it took about 30 to 45 minutes to do a big manual unwrap like this, without any auto seams. 
After that, it was into Marmoset for rendering and animation by George and Avil Silkute, who also donated the model for this quick intro to making UV mapping faster and easier with Ryzen UV. Thank you so much for watching, and please do not hesitate to drop us a line if you have any questions.